um, for, for those of you who just joined in this live, um, so today I am hosting this live with World Vision Singapore to talk about child sponsorship and how we can help the vulnerable communities around the world. And um, let me quickly now um, get... So today we have two, two of my friends from World Vision Singapore joining the live. Um, so let me quickly, I think we can start, let me quickly find them and get them and get them to hop in this live now. Okay, so I found Patricia. CJ, CJ are you around? Can you send me a request and I can get you? Hi Patricia! I'm looking for Hello, hi Finn. Hi. Oh, okay. So I see World Vision just joined. Okay. <laughs> Let's wait for CJ. Hi everyone. Also, this is uh Patricia. Um she is from World Vision Singapore. And we have one more, uh one of our friends from World Vision Singapore joining us. Let's wait for him. Try to find CJ. Okay, so while we wait for CJ to send in a request to join your live, uh, let me just uh, introduce um, Patricia. So Patricia, she is one of the trip leader. So you can, um, so last two weeks, I, uh, the two weeks ago, I went to Cambodia and I believe most of you have saw my stories and that's why you're here today. And uh, Patricia, she is one of my trip leader and CJ is uh, the other trip leader who is going to join us in this live. Okay. Let me see. I can you. Okay. Let me. Oh, okay. There's some technical error, though. I cannot invite CJ. Um, hold on. Okay. So why not, uh, while we wait for CJ to sort out the technical issue, let me just share a bit about my own child uh, sponsorship journey. So um, I, I signed up as a child sponsor um, last year. So and I, my family is sponsoring three children uh, from Sambo, Cambodia and um, we have two, two boys and one girl and they are age 10, 12, 12. And um, this year when I heard about a trip to Sambo, Cambodia, uh, World Vision is leading this trip to Sambo, Cambodia, where my sponsored children are, I signed up immediately uh, to join them because I, uh, for several reasons, because I really wanted to see my sponsored children in real life and for them to see me person, uh, uh, in person as well. And at the same time, I wanted to um, know more about what, um, you know, what are the conditions and what are the challenges these children and their communities are facing. And um, how exactly, another reason is I want to see how my monthly donation is helping these children and their families and their communities. So um, this trip was really an eye-opener, uh, it's really an eye-opening experience for me because I got to meet the locals. We met up with uh, the locals and the, the children and the, I went to the preschools and we talked to the teachers. So we met up with the locals and we chatted with them and we could really understand, um, you know, their challenges and what, what they truly need, you know, what kind of help they truly need. And at the same time, um, uh, I also saw for myself how the interventions by World Vision, you know, how our monthly donation uh, they are translated into all these, uh, you know, uh, support and interventions for the communities and how they are, they are, the communities, they are benefiting so much from the, the uh, support and intervention. So, um, so today I wanted to, um, so, so today I wanted to, to um, get, uh, you know, Global Vision here today to answer uh, many of your questions because uh, when I shared about my journey, you know, my, my, my Cambodia trip and my journey as a child sponsor, so many of you have sent in questions and I feel that, you know, uh, you know it's, I, I uh, really needed uh, Patricia and, and CJ here today to answer these questions. All right, so, 
um, let's see, is CJ able to join us? Uh, uh, yeah, he's um, trying to join. Yeah. Uh, would you be able to invite the World Vision account? Um, okay, so I am not able to invite because the you will need the latest version of Instagram to join. Uh, <laughs> so I, he okay. might have the outdated version, I mean not the most most recent version of the uh, latest version of Instagram. I see. Yeah. Okay. Or is he able to join with his, with his personal account? Okay. Shall we? So anyway, we will uh, try our best to answer all your questions about child sponsorship. So if you have any questions, uh, you can pop them in the, the chat in the comments uh, right now and I will, I will, we will answer them along the way. I also have a list of questions to ask uh, Patricia and World Vision team um, about the child sponsorship program. So uh, Shall let we? Me log in. Yeah, let me log in through um, the World Vision account. Oh, uh, okay, okay, sure, sure. Yeah. Okay, that's okay. Okay, so um, sorry for the technical error. So Patricia's gonna log off now, and she's gonna join in as the world using the World Vision Instagram <laughs> account. Sorry okay. about the technical error. Yeah. Thank you. Let's see. Yeah. So if you guys have any questions about the child sponsorship program, you can um you can pop them in the comments. Um okay, and I wanted to let me share a little I can let me share a bit more while we are waiting for Patricia to join, right? Let me just share a bit more about my, my own um my own um uh, experience. So while we are in Cambodia, we uh, we were there for five days and we actually visited um two area program. Two area program one is kiwi born and one is sambo so sambo is where my three sponsored children are and kiwi born is um is, is another area project that they have been working on for more than 10 years and um they started in kiwi born when did, when, when did you guys start kiwi born 2008 two, two, so 2008 they went into kiwi born and uh, they have worked uh, with the communities and the locals for more than 10 years and they are ready to face out, face out their, uh, their, their support from Kiribon next year. So, which is, uh, so this is really exciting because, you know, um, this, when, when I visited them, so this Kiribon uh, is a place where, where World Vision has been working on for over 10 years and you can really see the progress. You can see all the improvements to the communities uh, and, and compare when I, and after that we went on to Sambo and Sambo is a new era project. So World Vision has only ent uh, went, uh, went into Sambo last year. So, you know, World Vision has only been there for one year. So comparing the two area, one, you know, uh, where World Vision has been there for ten, over 10 years and one where World Vision has only been there for one year, you see a really huge difference. Like, you know, uh, uh, Kiribon, they are like maybe at the last place, they are like stage five, whereas Kiribon, uh, at Sambo, they are, really at stage one everything is uh is uh at um uh, you know there's a lot of things that that um that that we world vision is looking at to see how they can help the people and the communities in sambo all right so uh patricia is back is he able to join us yeah he should okay so see All right, let me look for CJ. Yes, he'll be using his uh, personal IG to log in. Okay, I am looking for him. Okay, got it. I invited him. So, so CJ, hop in. <laughs> Yay! Hello, sorry I'm late. <laughs> no problem. Okay, so this is CJ. So uh, over here we have uh, Patricia and CJ, so they are my trip leaders from the recent Cambodia trip. So um, Patricia, she is in, she is the marketing communications, in marketing communications of World Vision, and CJ, he is in the supporter engagement department from World Vision. All right, so, um, so good that, um, really glad that they are here today to answer all of your questions. Um, so 
let's get started with answering the questions because we have a long list to go through. So first question, all right, how does this sponsorship program work and how does it help the children and their families and their communities? So who's going to answer this question first? Okay, let me try to answer this question. Um, so child sponsorship, right, it's a very easy and meaningful way for anyone to make a positive impact in the lives of vulnerable children. So through child sponsorship, World Vision actually works with many communities around the world uh, for a period for, from 10 to 15 years um, in what we call area programs. Okay? Area programs are what we do in some of these communities where we implement programs and initiatives in areas such as um, education, uh, health and nutrition, and also uh, clean water. So we also benefit the parents by providing livelihood training so that they can improve their income and also help them to be able to support their children in their health and their education. So all these are aimed at helping the communities to become self-sustainable and also by training and empowering the community members. So when you sponsor a child, your contribution, your child sponsorship contribution is actually put together with the contributions of all other sponsors so that we can fund all these initiatives uh, like uh, conducting reading camps, uh, building clean water systems, and also training teachers so that all children in the community can benefit uh, from all these interventions. And you will see the impact of your child sponsorship when you receive the reports every year and you can see the changes in the children's life and also in the community. Right. Okay, so I, I think this is a uh, um, really uh, really answer this uh, ans answer this question about because a lot of people have this idea when we sponsor children, right? We are just giving the money to the children, which is um, um, which is not the, the the best way to help the children because most of the time, even if we give them the money, they do not know you know how, how what to do with the money, and we cannot give them money infinitely. You know how long are you going to support them for? But instead, we are really trying to help the 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 families. Um, uh, um, create, like we, they are trying to come up with a more sustainable plan for the entire community to strive, you know, and, and to improve together. So it's not just once, you know, when you when the community improves, then the the families and then the children they will also benefit as well. Yeah. So um, I think when we went to like some 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 um, Kiwi Bond, right? We went to Kiwi Bond, and I really saw, you know, how the the um, how the uh, um, uh, the agriculture com com community, right? They they have this. They came out with this agriculture community, right? Cooperative. Uh, cooperative, and then they were like really training the the people there how to uh like sharing all these good farming practices, so that because most of the people there they are farmers, so when they learn about all these good farming practices, and they also help the farmers find uh you know ways to sell their producers. It really, you know, the, the farm, farmers, the families, they really benefit a lot. So, you know, if, if they, by themselves, they even if they have a plot of land, they do not really know how to use a, uh, use a plot of land efficiently, and that's why their yields are very, very low. But with uh the the interventions when when the farming, you know, when they are they they are, they learn all these good farming techniques, and then they have water irrigation system, and then they also have people, you know, uh, the the. Co cooperative helping them sell their producers then uh, the, the farmers are they, they are really you know their li livelihoods have improved a lot right so uh, so I think you answer oh how much is the sponsorship program that's the next question okay um, so sponsorship program is $45 per month in Singapore so that translates to about $150 a day okay so that's why I say it's really easy for anyone to be able to make a difference in the lives of these children. So I think I just wanted to add on to what you mentioned just now about um, empowering the community, you know, teaching them skills. So we always say we do not just want to give a man a fish, we want to teach them how to fish so that they can continue to develop their community and really uh, improve the living conditions within the community with their own hands. So um, for, from all our experience in uh, helping um, children and in, uh, in poverty, we find that uh, giving money directly is not the best way. And of course, it can create dependency. So the, the families that we visited, I think we have seen, actually they have land. Uh, they have land where they can plant their crops, but perhaps they do not have the equipment, they do, do not have the water pipe connection. They may not have the best seeds or the best farming techniques. So when we train them in all these things, right, they can actually improve their yield. And this gives them the dignity to be able to provide for their own family. They themselves can decide how much to set up part for 
uh, their child's education, how much for their health, and how they want to invest in uh, better equipment in the future. And of course, uh, in some of these remote areas, even if you have the money, um, um, it's not easy to buy the things that are really useful. For example, in some of the remote communities that we serve, uh, even if you have money, you may not be able to buy books. So one of the interventions we do in these communities is actually to work with the community, uh, talk about some of their local stories, how we can make them into simple books, and then the children can start learning how to read and cultivate this habit of reading. So, so while we can fund, when we can pull all our resources together, we can really make a bigger difference and um, impact um, not just the sponsored children, but also the non-sponsored children as well. So everyone in the community can benefit from it. Right. Yeah, I, I think this is really, really important. And especially I feel that, um, you know, we, we are in Singapore we, and, and we, are, we, are, we are looking at them from the outside. We actually do not really know what they need. But when we, you know, when we go there and, um, you know, we, pro, we, we talk to them and then find out what they really need. And then from there, we, we come in and support them. Uh, that is, you know, that, that, really, that will really, uh, that's, that's really going to benefit them uh, even more. Uh, when you know they are the one who tell tell us what they need because we, we, we may think that oh maybe they, they they need to study English or maybe they need this or they need that but you know true they, but um ultimately you know it is it is still best if the communities are the one who who you know come out uh, with all you know they tell us what they need and they are the one who really want to help themselves yeah so um, shall we move on to the next question? Okay, so next question, uh, let's move on to the, um, let's talk about more about the child sponsorship program, like all the nitty gritty things, like can we choose the children we want to sponsor? Okay, let me answer that question. Uh, yes, you can certainly choose the child that you want to sponsor. So if you go to our World Vision uh, website, you'll be able to choose children uh, from the area program and the country that you have a connection with and uh, once you actually select the country or the area program that you want to choose a child from you can also go down to the details of um, the birthday month uh, if you want to have a deeper connection with the child you can choose a child that has the same birthday month as you and then uh, after that you can complete the sponsorship from our website yeah but if you can't decide and you actually uh, do not know which child you want to choose and there are many children that um, you feel that you have a connection with, we can also have for you based on some of your requirements like you want which area program or which birthday month or you want different gender, a boy or a girl. Yeah. Or alternatively, if you want to give the child a choice to make a choice of who their sponsor is, then we also have a um, way that uh, the sponsors can just submit their photo and participate in Chosen, uh, where the child will then get to choose the sponsor whom they want to journey with uh, through a set of photos that have been submitted uh, during a choosing party. Right. So, so, so I, my, my, uh, for, for my case, my three sponsored children, they were the one who chose me. I, I joined this chosen program and I thought this was a really uh, amazing way of, uh, you know, uh, way of doing this child sponsorship program because um, the, the children, we actually give them this choice and we are empowering them, uh, letting them know they actually have a choice and they have the, the power to choose. So, uh, yeah, so for, for myself, my three sponsored children, I did not choose them. They chose me uh, through the, spon uh, the chosen program. Okay. Then, um, do we receive letters from sponsored children and can we send letters or presents to them? Okay, let me try to answer that. Okay, so yes, uh, you definitely will receive letters. Also, actually, when you first start your sponsorship, right, the child will write an introduction letter to you. If they are too young, right, the caregiver or the parent may write on their behalf. They may draw something for you instead. Um, so from there on, you can reply to the letter, ask more questions, you know, ask encourage them to stay in school, um, ask them about their hobbies and things like that to get to know them. Um, so when you write to them, they will actually reply back to you each time. So you can write letter through the e-letter function on, on our sponsors portal, or you can mail the letter physically uh, to, the, to the office in the respective countries of your sponsored child. Mm -hmm. So, but if you don't have time to write, it is also okay. So once a year uh, during Christmas, uh, all the children, all the sponsored children will prepare an expression worksheet for their sponsors. Um, maybe 
uh, each year there's a different team, you know, sometimes they're talking about their friends, sometimes they're talking about their families, so they may uh, just write something for you, so that you also get to know them, you know, year after year, how they have uh, matured uh, over the years. Yeah. Right, okay, so, so I'm really looking forward to receiving uh, letters from them, so I already received my first set of letters, and I wrote back to them, and then I went to visit them, and then they told me they wrote letters to me, so I'm, I'm, I'm waiting, eagerly waiting for the letters to arrive. <laughs> yeah. And um, let's see, um, is this open, is this child sponsorship program open to non-Singaporean? Yes, um, anyone can join the program, okay? So if you come to the World Vision Singapore website, of course, uh, if you have, um, um, you are willing to um, be part of this program, you can join us uh, from anywhere in the world. Uh, but however, we do have World Vision offices in many different countries. So if you, it would be better if you, um, sponsor a child through the World Vision Office in your country so that you can receive better support. Uh, if you have any questions, you can call easily and uh, they may be able to assist you better. Um, but if you're in Singapore or if your country does not have a World Vision Office, uh, please feel free to go to our website, like what Patricia mentioned, yeah, to choose what? a child or be chosen. Other World Vision Offices. So we have one in Singapore and where are the, the other offices? Um, if you talk about um, where sponsor, we can sponsor children from, actually uh, in Asia, I think Taiwan, Korea, Japan, um, mm -hmm. Hong Kong, Malaysia. Right. Yeah, these are areas where you can actually go to the local World Vision office to sponsor a child. Right. It works the same um, in all the different World Vision offices. The way we conduct child sponsorship is, is the same. Right. How about where are the sponsored children from? So where are some of your area programs? Mm, okay. So that's a good question. So you have visited Cambodia. So mm -hmm. in Southeast Asia, we are also in uh, Myanmar, Vietnam, uh, all the developing countries actually. And then of course in North Asia, we have Mongolia, China. And then in South Asia, we have Bangladesh, uh, Nepal, and also uh, Sri Lanka. And right. then in the Middle East, we have uh, West Bank. And then in the Africa, we have Kenya, Malawi, okay, Zambia, and Ethiopia. So these are, so we are, World Vision is always trying to help the most vulnerable children in the world. So we are going to the most difficult places to help these children. Mm, okay. Then um, the next question is, uh, how, can, how can we visit the children? So uh, I, I guess it's probably like, you know, the, the Cambodia trip. How can we, is, can, is this a self-initiated trip or we have to wait for World Vision to organize a trip? Yeah, uh, let me answer the question. You can visit your sponsored children by taking part in World Vision organized trips to the area program. Uh, we do not advise any self-initiated uh, trips. Reason may be because our area program offices uh, are also doing the implementation work uh, of the various intervention programs. So uh, trips to the uh, area program to visit the sponsored child uh, has to be coordinated uh, so that it does not also affect their progress. Uh, of the area program officers in actually conducting the work. Uh, and it's also part of our child safeguarding uh, guidelines uh, that you actually visit the sponsored children uh, through our coordinated trips. Right. Then, um, can we, how, how often are, are these trips? Like, so I, I visited Cambodia last month. So when, when's the next time I can visit Cambodia again? <laughs> Yeah, um, so the trips to the various area programs, because this is a area program that will last uh, 10 to 15 years. So um, we will organize trips uh, at least about two to three years uh, know, uh, every time, uh, after every two to three years to the area program, um, so that you can actually see uh, the difference and the impact that is made um, over a longer period of time. And there will be more intervention programs that you can also see its effect uh, and impact on the beneficiaries. Right. So in, in our recent Cambodia trip, we visited Kiribong, right? So again, uh, Kiribong is an area project where World Vision has been working on for over 10 years. And during this trip, there are actually uh, sponsors who have been there like five times uh, over 10 years. So they really see the, the community from phase one to phase five, which is so amazing. So I, you know, uh, 
uh, not right now, uh, Sambo is at phase one. So I'm really looking forward to joining every World Vision trip and you know checking out the, the improvements and also visiting my sponsored children and watching them grow. They are so amazing. I, I think I, I, I remember one of our sponsor, uh, uh, one of our trip, uh, our trip member, he, he sponsored a child when he was six years old and now the boy is 16 years old and he's going to high school. So cool. <laughs> like you really see the children grow. Yes, certainly welcome to join us on uh, subsequent trips uh, right. to see the impact uh, that your contribution has made to the children in the community. Right, if, if you guys are sponsoring children uh, from Sambo, Cambodia, we can go on a trip together with Patricia and CJ. <laughs> Alright, so uh, on to our next question. Okay, uh, the $45 monthly contribution, is it uh, automatically built every month? And when does this... Uh, this contribution stop? Where does child sponsorship start? When, when does it end? Hmm. There are many ways to sponsor. I think if you um, choose a child on the website, you actually can uh, use a credit card. So it will be a monthly uh, recurring deduction. Or you can use gyro. Um, some of our sponsors prefer to do a recurring bank transfer or standing instruction. That, that, that is fine as well. So um, it's, it's a... Um, it's not so much hassle. Once you have committed to sponsor, you can uh, put us on a recurring uh, contribution mode so that uh, the funds will be transferred every month. So for as for when sponsorship will end, um, um, as it is the, um, out of the goodwill of the sponsors, the sponsors can choose to end the sponsorship anytime. But for new sponsors, we encourage you to at least um, commit to at least a year so that you can receive the annual progress report and really see the impact that you have made through your contribution mm. in the first year. And then you can decide to continue. So uh, sponsorship can also come to an end um, when our area program comes to an end. For example, uh, Kiribong, which you visited as well. I think uh, it's coming to, the end, coming to an end next year. So when that happens, uh, World Vision will be, um, will be handing over all our projects and interventions and all our uh, equipment and technology and knowledge to the local community so they will carry on the development on their own. So when that happens, sponsors of children in Kirivong will inform them and then we will propose for them to, to sponsor another child uh, perhaps in another, part, in another part of Cambodia or Sambo or another country so that they can continue the sponsorship journey. So there are some circumstances where you know, a child completes education or they move um, to another place uh, for work or for studies. Uh, when that happens, World Vision is not able to continue to monitor the child and um, look after their well-being. So we have to stop the sponsorship. We are inform sponsors uh, when that happens. And then at the, uh, the, in the same way, we will also be uh, proposing for the sponsor to continue sponsoring with another child. Yeah. So um, that's how Sponsorship may come to an end, whether it's initiated by sponsors or sometimes by, uh, by the sponsored child uh, when circumstances change. Right. I also wanted to, to share that I, I feel that, you know, being a sponsor myself and seeing my sponsored children uh, in, in person, you know, I feel that this whole sponsorship program is really more than just a monthly contribution. Uh, it's really this uh, relationship and connection that we have established so I, I, you know, if you decide to, to sign up uh, as a child sponsor, I really, really encourage you to commit, you know, for as long as you can, because this is really a relationship uh, that we are talking about. Like uh, when I meet my, my sponsored children, they were really uh, looking forward, you know, they were so happy and so excited to see, see me. Um, and they, you know, the health of the families, they were looking up to me with a lot of uh, appreciation and gratitude. And... Um, uh, yeah, and I am really looking forward to building this long-term relationship and you know, long-term support for, for my sponsored children and their family. Yeah. All right. Um, I also want to let everyone who is listening live right now, if you have more questions for World Vision, you can actually pop them in the comments or there is a question box. Just pop your, your question in the question box. So I saw one question in the question box. Uh, uh, is asking, is the child sponsorship program still going on at Yangxian China. Yes, yes. Yangxian China is one of our era program, uh, but it is also coming. Uh, maybe it's in the last few years of uh, the implementation as well. Yeah. Right. So that okay. is. Uh, yeah, I think this is uh, probably from existing sponsor. Uh, so 
I, I, I also, I think I have a friend who also asked, uh, actually it's, uh, it's my neighbor because she was looking at sponsoring children from China, but she couldn't find any like children from the list that she was like clicking through. Oh. Like there was no children. She's able to sponsor mm. China. So, uh, so I, I guess maybe, uh, maybe that's why uh, they were asking whether is the program right. still on because they cannot find right. any in the database. Okay. Yeah. So for, for some countries, um, we do have uh, fewer children available for sponsorship. And especially for China, uh, we are not allowed to put their photos online. Um, mm -hmm. So we may not have that many children uh, from China. But if uh, your friend is interested, do write to us. Uh, we can find a child for you. So sometimes the, the children okay. on the website may have been taken up and we are not aware of it as well. Right. Okay. Okay. So so they can actually, um, the people can also write directly to World Vision and let them know, you know, which mm. area, which country, uh, the children, uh, and the age that they want to do to sponsor. Yes, yes, yes. Guys can mm. like for them. Yes. Yes. Mm, okay. Okay. Certainly. Okay. Okay. And then I, I have one more question. Uh, does World Vision accept stationary learning materials and book donations or any mon monetary donations? So maybe they are not looking at. Uh, child sponsorship, but they want to just donate, uh, do a one-time donation. Is it possible? Okay. Um, okay. Maybe let me answer it this way. So if you're a sponsor and um, if you want to send some um, simple stationary books to your sponsor child, we encourage that. Um, so you can actually connect with them, send, send via the post office um, to your sponsor child. But if you are talking about um, collecting uh, a lot of books, stationery and learning materials, and then sending them in bulk to the community. Uh, World Vision does not do that. Uh, there are some factors that we consider uh, whether we want to send, we want to collect all these things and send in bulk to the communities. Uh, one of the key factors is actually the cost of shipping and also the, um, the cost of customs clearance if you are sending things in bulk. And then um, the other consideration is whether this, some of these materials if it's not in the local language, whether it is suitable for use in these communities, how mm. suitable are they? So, and, and generally, we, we want to um, help these communities. And we also thought that um, some of the things could be better purchased in the local shops in the nearby cities uh, to help them in their businesses. And when they, the econ local economy improves, mm. they can also be helping um, the poorer community around them as well. Right. So, so we are very careful about whether we are going to send things in bulk to some of these communities. Mm. And, you can, and you have been to Sambo, you know how difficult it is. You know, you have to take a boat, you have to go on tractor. So um, besides the cost of shipping, just uh, delivering the goods to the, to the capital city and then moving it to the child, uh, that takes quite a lot of uh, logistical effort. So all this has to be taken into consideration whether uh, we, will, we will send some of these things in bulk to the communities. As uh -huh. for other monetary donations, uh, we do welcome on our website, you can do a one-time giving. Uh, we also have a fund called Village to Village, uh, where you are helping to fund the projects in the area programs. Um, mm -hmm. So not, not having a child, um, but you want to help the community in general. Mm -hmm. So in the same way, helping them with the reading camps, the water systems, the health centers, uh, that's also an option for. Oh, this is more uh, project specific. Mm, or a general area could be, a, could be the area program itself. Okay. Yeah. So there okay. are different ways you can give um, to, to support um, the children without sponsoring a child, but as a one time giving. Yeah. Is that like a minimum amount to donate, or is, you know, we, can, we can donate any amount we want? Yeah, you can donate any amount uh, that you want. And actually, during Christmas, we have our Christmas gift catalog. So that's where we will showcase some of the, uh, some of the needs in the different communities. Uh, there are different items uh, that you can um, buy. And then that will translate into some of this benefit into these communities. So that's also another interesting way to give. You know, you can give a sheep, you can give a goat to the community, to, to some poor families uh, in that sense as well. Right. Chris, that's, so that's coming up uh, in November for Christmas. Yes. Okay. Yeah. For the Christmas gift catalog. Right. Yeah. Oh, that's, that's really interesting too. Yeah. Okay. Like giving them a Christmas present. Uh, but, but those are directed to the communities in general. Yeah. Right. Okay. Okay. Mm. Okay. 
So uh, we are actually down to our last question. Um, these are the questions that people are sending. So again, I want to uh, check with anyone uh, who is attending live today. If you have any more questions, you can actually put them in the chat and then we will answer them. So let's move on to our last question. How do we sign up for the child sponsorship program? Yeah, so one uh, other thing. <laughs> Yeah, uh, you can sign up for the child sponsorship program. It's very easy. You can set up an account on worldvision.org.sg, which is our World Vision Singapore website. And once you set up an account, you can just head to um, the child sponsorship page, start uh, choosing a child that uh, you would like to sponsor. And in uh, three steps, you'll be done to actually start uh, your recurring uh, monthly giving of $45 a month uh, to sponsor that child. Uh, and once the... Uh, the uh, transaction is completed on our website. Uh, you can log in to your own account in uh, World Vision Singapore website. Uh, once you log in, uh, you'll be able to see um, the progress uh, reports and uh, through the portal. And you can actually uh, find out more um, about the child and what kind of progress they've participated regularly on the digital portal. Right. Yeah, I, I, I went into the digital portal and I thought it was really, it was really organized and nice that I could you know my children the three children and then um, their photographs and updates and they even have um, photographs of them you know what they have been uh, participating the events they have been participating and i could also use the portal to send e-letters to them as well but when they reply me i heard that it's going to be physical letters like they don't write emails back to me like i can send e-letters to them but they write physical letters back to me right okay and then um also um the Okay, so I think this is the last question. How to sign up? Oh, okay. and, and um, let me see. I think there's no other question. I think we probably did a good job answering all the questions <laughs> from everybody. I don't see any questions. So if you have any questions, uh, you can pop in to... Oh, okay, there's one question. Uh, did you arrange a recent trip on your own or was it organized by someone? Oh, okay. it was organized by World Vision. So they organized the trip. I just tagged along. <laughs> I signed up and I tagged along their trip. Yeah, so it was... Uh, because my three sponsored children, they are from Sambo, Cambodia. So they, uh, when World Vision said that they want to visit this area, I signed up for it because it gives me a chance to go visit my sponsored children and also to see for myself, you know, how the conditions and how World Vision and my money contribution is helping these children. So, um, yeah. So you, uh, I think Patricia also shared earlier on that we, we cannot go there on our own initiative. So now that I know where my sponsored children are, I also cannot go there on my own. Uh, it's really to protect the children and you know, we don't want to affect their work uh, by the, the uh, World Vision area office in Cambodia as well. And then, uh, wait, there's two more questions. Um, how, okay, so hi CJ and Patricia, will World Vision consider to have another trip to Kiribon next year? Especially that Kiribon area project will face up next year and sponsors would love to meet their sponsored child for the very last time <laughs> this is probably a, a question from a sponsor <laughs> um, hey. so is there a trip to Kiribon next year yeah maybe i will um, i would like to thank the sponsor for his uh, for his or her very um uh, passionate um interest to visit Kiribon. um but um traditionally actually uh, when the area is coming to an end, uh, there is actually quite a bit of work uh, for our team uh, in Kiribong to do. So they have to ensure a smooth handover, a smooth transition, um, and also really imparting the knowledge and also the skills to the local community so that they can continue uh, to make the work uh, sustainable uh, in Kiribong after we have left the area and uh, go into another place in Cambodia. So. Um, yeah, so unlikely we will be organizing um, a trip in Kir to Kiribong next year. Um, the trip that uh, we have just went on is the last trip. Usually, even the last second last year, we usually don't go, but it was post-COVID and we thought, okay, maybe we should just give um, another chance for, for some of our sponsors. But, but we, we, we do want to do something for, um, to celebrate the... the um, we consider it a graduation of the Kiribong area program. Sometimes... Uh, for some area programs, when they come to an end, we do like a celebration and um, um, there could be certain videos that we want to share uh, during that event and uh, we, we, we hope sponsors can, can join us and um, 
uh, be part of this um, um, Thanksgiving and celebration uh, when we see a, a project coming to an uh, area program coming to an end. Yeah, so look out for it. All right. Um, so I, I mean, Cubone again is an area project where World Vision has been there for over 10 years. And, you know, there are sponsors who have been sponsoring their children for over 10 years. So there's a lot of connection and a lot of relation, you know, very strong bonds between the sponsor and the sponsored children. So it's really, really hard for a lot of the sponsors when the area project uh, phases out. So, you know, I am, you know, I'm still far from that. So Sambo is a new project, but, you know, I'm, I'm you know, I'm also not looking for when the, the area program um phases up in 10 years time and um okay wait we have one more question so um how often are new areas selected for chosen we're in love with the idea but the current opening seems to be for kenya so so for chosen uh are there are there going to be uh, other area uh how, how you go so for chosen are there going to be other countries uh, for, mm -hmm. for the chosen program. So right now it's Kenya. I, I, I saw that Kenya is open mm -hmm. for, for the program. Yeah. Okay. Um, so so maybe um, we, it's chosen is a wonderful idea, uh, but unfortunately not all the countries that we are supporting, World Vision uh, Singapore is supporting, are able to conduct chosen events in the, in the field. So currently uh, we have conducted a uh, chosen in Bangladesh, okay, Myanmar, Philippines, Cambodia, and uh, this is the first time we are doing, uh, and also Zambia. And this is the first time we are doing it in Kenya. So uh, for the, maybe for the next year, I think it will be among some of, uh, some of these countries. I mean, this Sri Lanka, it's, uh, it's a potential um, uh, to do chosen next. Uh, but other than that, it will be within these few countries generally. Right. When they are ready to do chosen. How often is the chosen program open like how, how often do you all launch the chosen sponsorship program um we launch the chosen sponsorship program uh every quarter every yeah quarter. we will have one um chosen program uh so uh after for this chosen program that is in kenya uh registration is open all the way until um 6th of june and then the next uh chosen program uh will be within the month of uh, august so um, that will be yeah, another country. Yes, that will be in another country. Okay. And what when during when uh when, when chosen program is not happening, so the people can still sign up as a child sponsor through the regular child sponsorship program, right? Yes, that's right. Right. Yeah. So okay. uh, children um are um you know listed on a website uh, from all our area programs. Uh, so even if uh, chosen is um, not open for registration during that month, uh, they can still go online and actually choose a child uh, if they're very interested to sponsor a child in a particular area, program or a country. Right. And they can also write to you if they cannot find a child on the website. They can also, if they feel very passionate about a certain country, about supporting a certain country, but they cannot find any uh, child on the website, they can also write to you guys, right? Yes, that's right. Okay, so a uh, very important question. How can they reach you? Let's say if they really, uh, you know, they have questions and they want to ask you about uh, uh, sponsoring children for a certain country. How, how, how can people reach you guys? Yep, they can give us a call at 69220144. Yeah. Or they can actually go on our website, uh, worldvision.org.sg. Uh, there's a chat function there as well. And then they can uh, chat with us to just share with us uh, what their queries are and also leave their email behind so that we can actually contact them. Uh, they can leave their email and their mobile and we can also contact them from there. All right. Okay. So, so, so the number, sorry, I just want to add the 69220144. If you call and can't reach us, you can leave a WhatsApp message as well. It's also on WhatsApp. Yeah. Right. Okay. So WhatsApp. So you guys know where to find them. Okay. You can WhatsApp them. You can email them. There's a chat chat function on World Vision uh website. So go search for World Vision Singapore. You will find the website. All right. So um, let's see if there are any other questions. Okay. If there are no other questions for CJ and Patricia, then we will end the live. Anyway, if you guys have questions, if you have any more other questions, you can actually send them your, you know, email them, or you can go to the World Vision Instagram and just send them a DM and they will be more than happy to answer 
answer any questions that you have, okay? So, um, yeah, I think um, we sh it's a good time to end this live. So thank you so much, Patricia. Thank you so much, CJ, for your time. It's very late. Uh, thank you so much for joining our late night live. <laughs> thank you, Finn, for thank organizing you. this session together with us. Yeah. And yeah. at this session, uh, you know, answer all the uh, questions that people have about child sponsorship and um, you know, and really inspire people to uh, think about sponsoring a children, uh, sponsoring a child um, through the child sponsorship program. So that is all from us. Thank you, everyone. Have a good night. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.